morning friends today we are going to solve the numericals on edta method in previous lecture we have done edta method and today we will solve numericals on edta numericals on edta method before doing numericals <coughs> we should know about two terms that is shw standard hard water and simple hard water what do you mean by standard hard water standard hard water and second is simple hard water standard hard water means the water whose concentration is known to us standard hard water is the water whose concentration is known to us for example how standard hard water has been prepared in lab by dissolving cacio3 standard hard water is prepared by dissolving cacio3 that is calcium carbonate in 1 liter distilled water this is how standard hard water is prepared in lab by dissolving cacio3 in 1 liter distilled water and the amount of how much amount of calcium carbonate is to be dissolved in 1 liter distilled water suppose we take 1 gram 1 gram cacio3 is dissolved in 1 liter distilled water that is standard hard water here the amount of cacio3 One is one gram. It could be point two gram CaCO three is dissolved is dissolved in one liter distilled water. But previous we have studied that CaCO three is insoluble in water. CaCO three is insoluble in water then how we are going to make standard hard water by dissolving it in distilled water we have learned that cacio3 is insoluble in water then how we can make standard hard water by dissolving it in distilled water by dissolving cacio3 in distilled water first we have to what we have to do we have to dissolve cacio3 in dilute hcl here whatever the amount of cacio3 whether it is 1 gram 0.2 gram or whatever is the amount of cacio3 first that amount of cacio3 is to be dissolved in dilute hcl because cacio3 is insoluble in water so first we have to dissolve cacio3 in dilute hcl and after dissolving CaCO3 in dilute HCl then we add this in 1 liter of distilled water 1 liter of distilled water this is how we could prepare standard hard water and standard means you know how much amount of CaCO3 is added in how much of water clear the word standard here the word standard here stands for the concentration of the known solution for example this is hard water and here the word standard means you should know how standard hard water has been made clear if you have given a standard hard water if you have given a standard hard water then one should also give you how it is made for example 0.28 g cacio3 is dissolved in distilled water 1 liter distilled water so this is standard hard water standard hard water means water whose concentration is known to us 
how much of CaCO3 is dissolved in how much liter of water that is known to us. That water is known as tender hard water. Now next is simple hard water. Hard water is here word standard is not there. So this hard water is water which contains which contains this salt, hardness causing salts, but we don't know the concentration of salts present in this water. For example, uh, uh, we can take example of uh, tap water. When we take tap water, we don't know the concentration of that water. So, that water is simple hard water. We don't know the concentration of that water. So, that is known as hard water or we can say water sample. Clear? This is the difference between the standard hard water and hard water. Standard hard water means water whose concentration is known to us and simple hard water whose concentration is not known to us. Clear? We can also say hard water as a water sample. Sample which is under consideration whose hardness has to be calculated. Now, now we come on to the numericals. Numericals on EDTA. First numerical. First numerical on EDTA. How to calculate the total hardness of water by EDTA method. Suppose we have a numerical. Uh, standard hard water containing containing 1 gram CaCO3 in 1 liter distilled water consumes suppose here the amount of standard hard water taken is 10 10 ml of standard hard water Containing 1 gram CaCO3 in 1 distilled water consume 10 ml of EDTA solution. Next, hard water sample 50 ml of 50 ml of hard water. After 50 ml of hard water containing buffer, ammonical buffer, ammonical buffer and EVT indicator on titration with, on titration with EDTA consumes consumes 12 ml of EDTA calculate total hardness of water. Here we have to calculate the total hardness of water by using EDTA method. First statement of our numerical is 10 ml of standard hard water consumes 10 ml of EDTA solution and here standard hard water is made up of uh, by dissolving 1 gram CaCO3 in 1 liter distilled water. So first step, step 1, step 1 is standardization of, standardization of EDTA. Step 1 is standardization of EDTA. We will calculate here. First step is that is standardization of EDTA. After calculating we come to know why we have done the standardization of EDTA. In first step, in standardization of EDTA, we take the standard hard water. First of all we write volume of standard hard water. What is the volume of standard hard water given here is 10 ml. 
So we will write here 10 ml. And now, how standard hard water has been prepared? That is given 1 gram CaCO3 dissolved in 1 liter water. This is how standard hard water has been prepared. Clear? Now, for 10 ml of standard hard water, in this 10 ml of standard hard water, we have added ammonical buffer solution plus EBT indicator, then titrate it with EDTA and the volume of EDTA used for this volume of standard hard water, that is 10 ml, that is equal to how much it is given? 10 ml. Suppose, here we will write volume of EDTA used is equal to 10 ml. Clear? So, for 10 ml of standard hard water, how much of EDT has been consumed? 10 ml. Therefore, we will write this in sentence formation. 10 ml EDTA used for 10 ml standard hard water. For 10 ml EDTA, clear? For 10 ml standard hard water, 10 ml EDTA is used. Here in bracket again we write 1 gram CaCO3 in 1 liter water. Now, we have to convert this gram into milligrams and liter into ml. Next step is, whatever be the amount of calcium carbonate and whatever be the amount of water, we have to convert that into milligram and ml. So, 1 gram of CaCO3, then this will be 1000 milligram CaCO3 and that is equal to 1000 ml water. Now, 1000, 1000 cancel out, it means 1 gram CaCO3 is equal to 1 ml water and which water has been prepared by this? Standard hard water. So, it means 1 ml standard hard water is equal to 1 milligram CaCO3. What does it mean? It means 1 ml standard hard water contains this amount of hardness that contains 1 milligram CaCO3. So, if 1 ml standard hard water is equal to 1 milligram CaCO3, then we can substitute this value here. If 1 ml standard hard water is equal to 1 milligram CaCO3, then here should be 10 milligram CaCO3. We can replace 10 ml standard hard water with 10 milligram CaCO3 by this calculation. Now, 10 ml EDTA is equal to 10 milligram CaCO3. Now, from here, 1 ml EDTA <coughs> will be is equal to 10 upon 10 milligram CaCO3 that is equal to 1 milligram CaCO3. Now, what does this relation mean? Why we have done the standardization of EDTA? Standardization of, from standardization of EDTA or the, for, from the first step, we get 1 ml EDTA is equal to 1 milligram CaCO3. It means if we used 1 ml EDTA, then it is equal to how much of hardness? 1 milligram CaCO3. If we are using 1 ml EDTA, then it is a standard that 1 ml EDTA is equal to 1 milligram CaCO3. That is the hardness. 1 ml EDTA equivalent to this much of hardness. How much of hardness? 1 milligram CaCO3. Then this is the first step of the numerical. Step 1 is standardization of EDTA. Every time we have to take standard hard water for standardization. First of all, we will write well, what is the volume of standard hard water given? That is 10 ml. What is the volume of EDTA used for this standard hard water? That is also 10 ml, whatever be the value. Then write it in a statement form 10 ml EDTA used is equal to 10 ml standard hard water. Then how standard hard water has been made? 1 gram CAC to dissolved in 1 liter. And from this, we will get 1 ml EDTA is equal to 1 milligram. CaCO3. Now here, whatever be the amount of standard hard water, whether it is 1 gram, 2 gram, 0.2 gram, 0 0.005 gram, we have to convert, every time we have to convert this gram into milligram and liter into 
ml and we have to calculate these values. How much of 1 ml of standard hard water contains how much of milligram CaCO3? This is the first step. Now step, second statement is, we have calculated from the first statement, we have calculated the standardization of EDTA. In the second step, it is written 50 ml of hard water containing ammonical buffer and EVTA indicator on titration with EVTA contains 12 ml of EVTA. Now it means in the second statement we have taken the hard water or water sample whose hardness has to be calculated. So second step should be, what will be the second step? 50 ml and 12 ml. Now, Second step will be, step second is determination of total hardness, determination of total hardness. For total hardness, we have to take the water sample or hard water which is given. Now. What is the volume of hard water given here in the numerical? Volume of hard water. You can write hard water or water sample. That is equal to 50 ml. And now for this 50 ml of hard water, volume of EDTA used is volume of EDTA used is how much we have written? 12 ml. Clear? <clears throat> for the titration of total hardness, Volume of hard water we have taken that is 50 ml and what is the volume of EDTA used that is 12 ml. Now from the first step we know that 1 ml EDTA corresponds to this much of hardness. And in the previous lecture we know that this the amount of EDTA used is equal to amount of hardness present in water sample. Amount of EDTA, the volume of EDTA used that is indirectly equal to amount of hardness present in water sample. If we convert this 12 ml into milligram CaCO3 because hardness is expressed in terms of milligram in terms of CaCO3. So if we convert this 12 ml into milligram CAC, so that means we will get the hardness. So from the first step we know 1 ml EDTA is equal to how much of hardness? 1 milligram CaCO3. Here we use the first step of the numerical. So therefore 12 ml of EDTA will contain how much of hardness? That is 12 milligram CaCO3. If 1 ml EDTA contains 1 milligram CaCO3 of hardness, then 12 ml EDTA will contain 12 milligram CaCO3. Now, this amount of hardness is for what which amount, what amount of what volume of hard water? 50 ml. So therefore, we will write 50 ml water sample contains, yeah, hard water contains how much of hardness? 12 milligram CaCO3. This is uh, what we have to calculate. Ki how much of uh, 50 ml of water sample contain? How much of hardness? We have calculated 12 milligram CaCO3. That is the amount of hardness. But we have to give the result in ppm. That is the unit of hardness. And ppm is equal to milligram per liter. PPM, 1 ppm is equal to 1 milligram per liter. So, here this is in milligram, okay, but this is in ml and here it is 50 ml. We have to make it 1 liter. So, from here we will calculate 1 ml water sample contain how much of hardness? 12 upon 50 milligram CaCO3. Therefore, we have to calculate, every time we have to calculate it in 1000 ml. 1000 ml means 1 liter. So 1000 ml of water sample will contain 12 upon 50 into 1000 milligram CaCO3. Clear? Now we will calculate it. Clear? 
clear now it is 240 milligram ca co3 now here it is 1000 ml that is 1 liter if we shift this 1 liter then it will be like this and this milligram per liter is equal to 1 ppm is equal to 1 milligram per liter so this is 240 ppm and 240 ppm is the total hardness of water sample 240 ppm is what this is the total hardness of water sample so in numerical first we have we will have to calculate standardization of edt and for the standardization of edt we will use standard hard water and the second from the second statement we will calculate the total hardness we have to write what is the volume of water sample or hard water then how much of edt has been used for this then from the first we can write uh, 1 ml edt corresponds to how much of hardness then 12 ml of edt is this and 50 ml of water sample we have calculated the hardness and in the end we have to calculate the hardness in 1000 ml of water sample that is equal to 1 liter of water sample so this is the total hardness of water we get the answer total hardness of water is 240 ppm in the same way we can calculate the temporary and permanent hardness of the water temporary and permanent hardness of water for temporary and permanent hardness we have calculated the total hardness calculated total hardness now for temporary and permanent hardness temporary and permanent hardness for temporary and permanent hardness, what we have to do? Simply, we have to calculate same procedure. First step, standardization of EDTA. Same. Second step, same. Total hardness. Clear? Second step, we have calculated the total hardness. In the third step, if in the numerical statement is there that water sample is boiled, filtered and then ammonical buffer solution EBT indicator is added and then titrated and the volume of EDT is this calculate the temporary and permanent hardness for the calculation of temporary and permanent hardness what we have to do is we have to boil the water for the determination of temporary and permanent hardness we have to boil the water boil the first we have to boil the water sample what will happen upon boiling in the previous lecture i taught that uh, uh, temporary hardness can be removed by boiling whereas permanent ha hardness cannot be removed by boiling so when we boil the water sample when we boil the water sample the temporary hardness salt present in water will be precipitated out if we take this beaker now this is water and water contain, this water sample contain both type of hardnesses, temporary hardness as well as permanent hardness. But when we have to calculate what is the amount of temporary hardness and what is the amount of permanent hardness, then we first we have to boil this water and upon boiling what will happen? The temporary hardness salt will precipitate out, that will be separate from water. And then upon cooling, we will filter these precipitates. Filter. Clear. We will filter this solution and on filtering, the filtrate we get contains only permanent hardness. Or we can say the filtrate only contains the Permanent hardness causing salts. Permanent hardness causing salts. Because the temporary hardness causing salts will remain on the filter paper. And now the filtrate which we have get only contains permanent hardness causing salts. It means when we titrate this filtrate by adding EBT, indicator EBT, EBT indicator ammonical buffer and titrate with EDTA we will get 
परमानेंट हार्डनेस क्लियर ओके नाउ इन नेक्स्ट लेक्चर वी विल डू द मेरिकल्स ऑफ टेम्पररी एंड परमानेंट हार्डनेस थैंक यू